All right, the only way I was able to access the camshaft position sensor um, that's on the passenger side over there is through coming from the right side. Now, it's the only way I'm going to be able actually to put on the socket wrench, which is a 10 millimeter, um, and it basically coming down here, I was able to link in on the side of it. So I'll go ahead and show you now. So I'm going to come down right here on the right side. You can see where the wrench is right there. I'm going to go ahead and try and get this closer for you. But you're going to have to climb into your engine compartment here. You can see, move some hoses out of the way. All right. You can basically see that there is, back here, there's kind of this wiring housing. There's this wiring housing right here that blocks you from accessing on the other side. So I'm able to push that out of the way and access it right here. So that's the only way I was able to get to it. So I'm going to go ahead and start cranking on this and try and get that 10 millimeter bolt out of there. Got it. There we go. It's hard to get some torque on it in this weird angle. Oh, and then of course it. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and I can't do this with the video on it at the same time, but I'm gonna go ahead and loosen that nut up all the way, and then I'm gonna have to go onto the other side um, in order to pull it all the way out. So. All right, so I'm back on the passenger side now of the engine, and I went ahead and took this out. Um, so the what I'm gonna have to do now is release it from its wiring harness. And you can see that here there's this clip, and the only way I'm probably gonna be able to access that is by by getting at it with a needle nose pliers. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and use a pair of needle nose pliers to go ahead and pinch that, and then be able to pull. Uh, the sensor off. All right, so this is the wiring harness mechanism. I just wanted to kind of show you how this works. If you see this little gray tab right here, that basically um, I had to push that gray tab inwards. So what I did is get a pair of pliers and squeezed basically that gray tab downward into it, and that basically popped it out. So you're going to have to, once you get this whole assembly out, you're going to have to bring it up, you know, as far as you can out here. And I had to use my left hand with a pair of pliers to actually actuate it. So it's not going to be easy, but um, you know, keep at it and you can actually depress that gray piece down and that ejects out the actual um, sensor itself. All right, so here we have the two side by side. And this is the old one. And you can see all the buildup of crud. You can even see some shiny spots on it, like right there, where most likely metallic, you know, shavings, whatever, have gotten near or embedded in that magnet. So really, honestly, I could probably just clean this up and it may work a little bit better, but hell, let's use a new one. So this was almost a $90, like a $90 part. So what I'm going to do is basically lube up this O-ring right here. After I lube up that O-ring, I'm going to plug it back into the wiring harness, and then I'm going to be plugging it in and tighten it up. So let's get going. All right, so I'm over here on the driver's side now. I'm coming back down. I'm gonna show you kind of where this plug is located down here. And once you get a good look at it, so that opening right there is basically where the um, new sensor is gonna be going. And you can see the hole just to the left of it, and that's basically the where the bolt goes. So. And then I'm going to try and back out of here so you can get a good picture of where exactly we were. So from right there, basically you're, you're coming in at it at an angle and it's sweeping down in. So anyways, hope it gets you a little bit of perspective. All right, so here we go. We got the new sensor in place. As you can see, it's locked into place by this green or this gray um, basically push push plug here that basically popped back out once this was completely inserted. So now basically we have to rotate it like that and then we're going to be pushing it into place. Alright guys, that was like being a blind man trying to have sex. You just gotta 
feel around for the hole and push your way in. So this uh, I was able to manage to get it in there. That wasn't easy, but I was able to get in, and now all you have to do is basically you can see about right there that I'm going to have to put the bolt in there and push it and kind of thread it in. Now I'm going to have to be doing that blind again and just kind of coming in the driver's side and just using my right hand to kind of thread that uh, bolt in there. All right, we went ahead and uh, tightened it up and now I'm all complete. So I kind of just wanted to show you the uh, finished product there. And as you can see, voila, it's got the bolt on it. So, uh, that was a pain in the ass, especially tightening it um, because with that wiring harness behind it, it kind of blocks any wrench from getting in there and securely tightening it. But you know, you gotta get in there and, and get it done. So um, next we gotta come over to the other side and we have to put everything back together. So ever, all the pieces that we kind of moved out of the way to get accessibility back here, we gotta put back together. We also have to go ahead and um, get that vacuum hose um, back on right there. So let's go ahead and uh, knock all that out and we should be done. <laughs> 